hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of engineering thermodynamics so in the previous video actually the first video we discussed uh, the basic introductory concepts related to thermodynamics the various uh, application areas and the basic outline of uh, the things which we are going to cover in this uh, discussion and also we discussed uh, about the macroscopic and microscopic point of view of the study of thermodynamics the classical and statistical thermodynamics so in this video we are going to discuss about the most important but basic okay basic but important concept in the study of thermodynamics which is the thermodynamic systems okay so before that let us just have a, a quick look at the basic definition of thermodynamics so thermodynamics is basically the study of energy transfer okay so the energy transfer is considered or studied from the point of view of a system okay which we are discussing okay thermodynamic system so a system is first considered and then the inlet okay the the amount of energy that is going in and the amount of energy that is going out that is what the analysis the study and analysis of that is what is called as thermodynamics and how this energy you know uh, transfer affects the various properties of the sub the matter the system that is also uh, studied under this subject okay so a thermodynamic system so a system is nothing but uh, you know a quantity of matter a substance or a region in space upon which we focus our attention okay so this system we can take it as you know a human body we can consider it as a system okay let us say we consider the human body as a system the amount of food that we are taking in the amount of oxygen that we are taking in let's say that is the amount of energy that is going in then the amount of carbon dioxide that goes out or the amount of waste products okay th which we lose through ex the process of excretion through stool and urine let's say yes that is we can take as a simple example of a system if we consider the human body as the system then this is what the energy in and out process will look like we can analyze it we can understand this whole thing like this then also we release energy you know uh, mass it uh, it is uh, exchange takes place through sweat or the amount of water that we drink so all of these parameters can be taken into consideration now the boundaries of the system can be the 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 skin the outer covering protective covering on the human body and anything external to that is the surroundings so this is how we can uh, consider a system like that a system can be a plant or a tree or it can be any electrical or mechanical device any electronic or electrical gadget or appliances or it can be as big like a power plant or a process control plant or anything or a certain portion of that uh, plant or industrial setup anything can be considered as a system so first is the first important thing in the study of thermodynamics is to consider a system take a certain portion or region in space or a quantity of matter or substance that is that becomes the system then anything external to that everything outside of that that is the environment or the surroundings once the system and the surroundings are defined the thing that separates the system from the surroundings is the boundary okay 
a boundary now here the boundary can be fixed or mobile or movable okay so and the combined system surroundings boundary everything combined together that is called as the universe so like i said in the first video three things will always come in the discussion in the, any discussion related to thermodynamics system surroundings boundary and the amount of or the energy transfer energy going in or energy going out through mechanical work or heat or anything so this is the most important concept related to thermodynamics system surroundings and boundary so example of system we can take like i said human body or tree or plant or any mechanical or electrical device any gadget or appliance uh, process control plant or manufacturing industrial setup or power plant anything we can take it as a system we can consider a system then we have to define the boundaries define the surroundings define what we want to study okay uh, either the energy that is going in or the input or the output so all of these things are very very basic but important to the study of thermodynamics okay so system surroundings and boundary so let us say we have taken any portion or region in space or a certain amount of matter as the system so everything within it all the thermodynamic characteristics that are within it be it mass pressure volume temperature anything all the characteristics are defined with respect to the system then everything external to that outside of that all the parameters outside of that those constitute the surroundings and this layer or the interface between the system and the surroundings the layer that separates the system and the surroundings is the boundary so here when we study a thermodynamic system there are three types of system that can be you know we can we find in the study of thermodynamics they are open system closed system and isolated system okay so let us say uh, see what open system closed system and isolated system they are so first let us discuss a closed system okay so a closed system is a system which has constant mass or fixed mass okay the mass of this system cannot change okay the mass of a closed system cannot change there will be no transfer of mass across the boundary between the system and the surroundings the only exchange that can happen is the transfer of energy it can be through mechanical work or heat okay so closed system looks something like this we have the system we have the surroundings we have the boundary separating them there can be you know transfer of energy into the system and transfer of energy outside of the system but no mass transfer in or out of the system energy transfer takes place through mechanical work or heat okay work transfer or heat transfer we will discuss that in the upcoming videos so for now you just understand that a closed system has a fixed mass no mass transfer takes place in and out of the system only exchange takes place through energy energy can go into the system or outside of the system and energy transfer takes place through work or heat so a closed system is also called as a control mass okay so we have discussed about closed system now the next one is the open system so open system in, uh, is one in which there is transfer of both mass as well as energy in and out of the system okay both mass can be flow into the system and out of the system and also energy that is work or heat so an open system is called as a control volume so this is what a open system looks like 
we have the system the surroundings boundary the three most important things there can be flow of mass into the system and also out of the system there can be transfer of energy into the system and also out of the system in the form of work or heat so here both mass and energy transfer takes place in and out of the system and a uh, open system is called as a control volume and the boundaries of this uh, control volume or open system is called as the control surface okay the boundaries of this system then we have is the third category third type of system which is the isolated system so from the name itself you can make out that the isolated system there is no transfer of mass or energy in and out of the system no interaction between the system and the surroundings okay no transfer of mass no transfer of energy no exchange of mass or energy in and out of the system so it is a system of fixed mass and energy so this is an isolated system no interaction between system and the surroundings in the form of mass or energy okay so now let us take an example of a system let us consider some amount of gas contained inside a cylinder with a movable piston placed over it and the gas is heated with the help of a let's say a burner now when the gas gets heated it expands and the piston moves upward so here let us say that we define the boundaries like this okay the inner region of the piston and the cylinder walls okay the base the walls and the inner region of the movable piston those are the boundaries the limits of the system so here we can say that when the gas is heated it expands and as a result of which the piston it moves upwards so there is some amount of force that is exerted by the gas on the piston as a result of which it moves upwards so when it moves upwards there will be some you know energy transfer through kinetic energy or whatever potential energy the interaction so there is some energy transfer across the boundary but there is no transfer of mass in or out of the system so here this system constituted by this gas contained inside the cylinder we can take it as an example of the closed system okay closed system where it is a fixed mass no transfer of mass takes place but there is transfer of energy which causes this piston to move upwards because of expansion of the gas okay work is mechanical work is done on the piston which causes it to move upwards so here the gas is the system the gas inside the cylinder the inner surface the boundaries of the cylinder the base and the two walls and the piston inner region of the piston that is the boundary everything else is the surroundings and also some concepts related to boundary so when we say boundary it means the thing which separates the system and the surroundings okay the thing which separates the system and the surroundings that is the boundary now boundary it can be of two types okay fixed boundary and movable boundary also there is another categorization in which it can be real or imaginary so let us say in this example of gas contained inside uh, the cylinder here the inner region of the piston because of expansion of the gas because of heating it moves upwards so this boundary the inner region of the piston or this whole piston taken as a you know whole we can say that this boundary is movable it moves it can move up or down 
okay in both direction so it is a movable boundary but the base of the cylinder and the two walls side walls of the cylinder they are fixed they cannot move so they are fixed boundaries okay the sides of the cylinder container but the piston it is movable in nature they are fixed the walls of the cylinder container they are fixed but the piston is movable so a piston is a movable boundary here and these the base of the cylinder and the sides of the cylinder they are fixed also if we insert a nozzle here an inlet let's say and if we consider another outlet here let's say we draw another outlet here pipe here then if we consider that this uh, inlet or outlet here let's say a nozzle the top surface let's consider this nozzle the inlet and the outlet which has both inlet and outlet if we consider this portion as the system inside of the nozzle then the top and bottom portions these sides they are real boundary they exist but these dotted lines on both sides left and right side they are imaginary in nature we have just considered this whole system with these top and bottom sides which are really exist they are the real boundaries and the uh, one at the left and the right everything external on this side this is the imaginary boundary here which separates everything outside of the nozzle from the inside okay for our discussion point of view so these are imaginary boundaries and these are real boundaries so these terms will come into play when we discuss various things related to you know uh, systems surroundings and boundaries so i hope uh, i should make you you know acquainted with these terms so i hope you like this video in this video we have discussed various concepts related to thermodynamic systems surroundings boundaries various types of systems and boundaries and all of those related concepts so please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much